वेलकम टू शांति पीस फॉर मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो विल प्रेजेंट अ मेथड टू फाइंड अ कंप्लीट इंटीग्रल ऑफ फर्स्ट ऑर्डर पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन लेट एफ ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड पी क्यू इक्वल टू जीरो बी द पीडी हुज कंप्लीट इंटीग्रल इज बींग शो अ फैमिली ऑफ पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन जी ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड पी क्यू एंड a equal to zero is said to be a one parameter family of pd compatible with this equation that is f of x y z p q equal to zero if if i can say this is the equation number 2 and if i can say this is equation number 1 if one if two is compatible with one for each value of a and what does it mean of a compatible differential equation that we have discussed in my previous video a link for that video is given in i button you can just go and check it since this f equal to 0 and g equal to 0 are compatible we have box of f g equal to 0 and what is the definition of box of f g is represented as del f g jacobian of f g with respect to x p plus p into f g upon z p plus jacobian of f g with respect to y q plus q into del f g upon del z q equal to 0 and if you simplify this one let us write what we got to this if you simplify this so what will be this this is fx fp gx gp plus p into fz fp gz gp plus determinant of fy fq gy gq plus q into fz fq gz gq and all this thing equal to 0 and if you simplify this the coefficient of gx and if i expand this determinant then you will have fp is the coefficient of gx so what we'll get if by expanding this we'll have it is fx gp fx gp Minus gx fp, gx minus fp. Then here you will have p fz gp, p into fz gp. So plus p into fz gp minus p into gz fp, gz fp plus. F Y G Q, F Y G Q minus G Y F Q, G Y F Q plus Q into F Z G Q, F Z G Q minus Q into G Z F Q equal to zero. That is in check. Z Z F Q equal to zero. Now what are the coefficient of G X? So I'll just write down F P del G by del X, and I'll take this quantity on the other side. So whatever the sign is there, I'm making them. It is a negative sign. Then this term is over. Now we'll have a coefficient of G Y. That is this. So that is plus f q del g by del y. Now coefficient of g z. So there will be two terms of having g z. One is this, another one is this, and both of them are of negative sign. If we go on the other side, it will become plus. So it is plus p into f p plus q into f q del g by del z. 
for this term now what are the terms of coefficient of gp the coefficient of gp is two terms one is this and another one is this and both of them are a plus sign if you go on the other side it will be negative so it is minus fx plus p fz del g by del t then again it is a minus these two terms are left and having of gq is common and both these are positive so goes on the other side it will be negative fy Min plus q f z del g by del q equal to zero. This is a quasi linear first order partial differential equation for g with x y z and q as an independent variable. So that I should write this is a quasi linear first order PDE for g with x, y, z, p and q as independent variables. Our problem is to find out the one parameter family of a differential equation g equal to 0, which is such that the each family is compatible with the given equation f is equal to 0. Then it is to find the solution of this equation 3. The equation 3 is this one. This we have last we have obtained. This is the equation 3. In a simple form as possible. Involving P or Q or both an arbitrary constant A. This we do by finding the integral of auxiliary equations. This we do by finding and integral of the auxiliary equation. That is dx upon fp how we will get this fp because of this equation the coefficient of del g by del x is fp and del g by del y is fq so that's why it is equal to dy upon fq is equal to dz upon the coefficient of del g by del z you can just see that it is fp into fp plus q into fq plus dp that is a coefficient of del g by del p is minus of fx plus p f z is equal to minus of minus of dq upon f y plus q f z and in the charpitz method this consisting of consisting in choosing one parameter family of pd is g of x, y, z with q equal and a equal to 0 which is such that each member of the family is compatible with the given equation f of x, y, z with q equal to 0. Then solving for p and q from equation f equal to 0 and g equal to 0 we get p as a function of phi of x, y, z, a and q is also function of xi of x, y, z and a. And then will dz is equal to we can have phi dx plus xi dy is integrable by what q of the fact that f equal to 0 and g equal to 0 are compatible. The integral of this equation, that means if I can say this is the equation number 5, and integral or a solution of equation 5 will be of the form f of capital F of x, y, z, a, b equal to 0. And this is a two parameter family of the solution of the equation 1. It will be a complete integral of equation 1. This is a two parameter family of solution of equation 1 that is f equal to 0. It will be complete integral of equation 1. Let us solve and this is known as a Charpitz method. So this is the equations which we have in this. We call it this is equation 4 and this equations are known as auxiliary equations for the Charpitz method. 
and we have to remember this to solve an examples on a chart pitch method so let's solve some certain examples based on this chart pitch method and we'll discuss here first example that means that we are taking find the complete integral f is equal to z square minus p q x y equal to 0 by chart pitch method let's have the solution for this so as I told you the equation number 4 is the auxiliary equation. So the auxiliary equation are dx upon fp, dy upon fq, dz upon pfp plus qfq equal to minus dp upon fx plus pdz is equal to minus dq upon fy plus q f to z. This is our function f. We now we do have to calculate what is fp. That means that partial derivative of this function f with respect to p. So therefore this will give you dx upon ft that is the derivative of this that will give you minus q dxy. dy upon the derivative of this with respect to q so that will be minus pxy equal to dz fp plus q fq fp and fq is already calculated so it is minus p q x y minus p q x y is equal to minus dp upon fx the derivative of this with respect to x will give me minus p y plus p f z the derivative of this one with respect to z is a 2 z and multiply by p to that so that will give me plus 2pz is equal to minus dq upon y that is minus pqy plus a derivative of this with respect to z which will give you 2z so it is q 2qz this will be the auxiliary equations we have we need to calculate solution for this equation to do this Let's see observe what we have here. The first one you just observe that in the middle term that is dz upon this will be the so let us observe that here z upon minus 2pq xy that is equal to I can write down due to this equation we have given is z square is equal to pq xy. So this value which we have we can write down as z square. So it is dz upon minus 2z square. So therefore we have dz upon minus 2z square equal to. On the other side we need to have another type of equation we need to adjust here. That multiply this equation by p. If I multiply this equation by this expression by q. If I multiply this is by x and this by by y and we add them. So by some logic we can come up to this conclusion this if we do this type of operation then we have certain things that means p into dz q into dy x into dp plus y into dq. If I multiply this is by p so that will give me minus pq xy minus pq xy you just see that it is minus pq xy this we have multiplied by q so it is minus pq xy this i have multiplied by x so that is it is minus pq xy so it will be minus pq xy and then it will multiply by x so it is plus 2 p x z but this is of negative sign so this minus will become plus 1 and this will become minus 2 z plus pqxy that is this multiplied by x the last term you will have it is 2 q z y because when you multiply this is by y you will have this just observe that this is dz by minus 2 z square if you combine these two terms, p dx plus x 
dp then you will have d of xp and combining these two terms will have y as it q as it is derivative of y y as it is derivative of q so it is d of y q upon we just observe that z is common out from this to 2z is a common out from this to so it is minus 2z inside bracket we have xp plus yq and this minus is cancel out 2z is also cancel out so finally this will gives me z upon z is equal to d of xp plus yq upon xp plus yq because the numerator we can write down in this form therefore if i integrate both side this will gives you ln of z is equal to ln of xp plus yq plus ln of c finally c ln of a therefore this will gives me z is equal to a into xp plus yq where a is arbitrary since the required one parameter family of pd is compatible with f equal to 0 and this g this is our g equal to 0 we can write hence one parameter the required parameter family pd is compatible with f equal to 0 of x y z q a equal to 0 that is z minus a into p x plus q y equal to zero that we got from the previous calculation. We need to solve for solving n q f equal to zero and q g equal to zero. Obtain to solve equal to zero and g equal to zero equation for p and q. Let me write what is these two equations we have given. We have given that z square minus p q x y equal to zero. This is our f equation, and we have obtained the equation g is z is equal to a into x p plus y q equal is that. Our objective is to calculate the value of p from this and q from this. So this is x a p plus y a q. So this is z by a equal to x p plus y q. px into qy equal to z square for xp plus yq square will be z square by a square will xp square plus 2 times xp yq plus yq square is equal to z square by a square so that will gives me xp square Plus y q square equal to z square by a square minus 2 z square. This now x p minus y q square will gives me square plus 2 times x p y q plus y q square. x p square plus y this x p pop square and y q square will give me this value so that is z square minus a square minus 2 z square and this value is x p minus this is a minus value minus 2 times x p y q will give me z square so it is minus 2 z square this will give me x p Minus y q square will be square by a square minus four one by a square minus four z square. So x p minus y q we consider as a positive square root. So that is square root of this z. We have already have x p minus x p plus y q is in the previous we we have that is z by a. If I add them, this will be get cancel out. So we'll have two x p is equal to. If I can say this is equal to c z plus z by a. The value of p you will have by x into 
plus 1 upon a by 2. Substitute this value into the substitute that value of p here and it is x into z by x into c plus 1 upon a 2 plus q is equal to z by a. Now this x will get cancelled. So finally you will have yq is equal to z by a plus c plus 1 upon a 1 by 2 into z. If I take common out this z from this, we will have 1 by a plus c by 2 plus 1 by 2 a z. So, the value of q you will have z by y this value write down c by 2 plus 3 by 2 a. So this is equal to z by y a plus 3 upon 2. Next, start with the equation dz is equal to phi dx phi xyz dx plus xi xyz dy where we got the value of this one as a p we can have the value of p from this it is this into z by x so this is a constant quantity so we'll have plus 1 upon a by 2 into z by x plus the value of q we have this dx plus quantity that is c a plus 3 by 2 into z by y dy. So you can take z, z common, so it is dz by z. If I plus 1 upon a by 2 dx by x plus c a plus 3 by 2 dy by y. If I take the LC, it means integration both sides, this is l and z. If I can say this is some constant and that constant is a function of c and a and just observe that the c is also a function of a because that is the value of c we have put it here. So this c and a both of them are functions of a here also. So I will say this is some function. Let us say that constant is a ln of x and this is also a function of c and a. That is also uh, ultimately one constant. We say it is b ln of y plus some other constant ln of c1. So z is equal to x power a y power b into c1 is the final answer you will have. Where a and b are dependent. Because the value of a and b is depends on c and d and the value of c and d depends on a. And this is a two parameter family of surface which is the solution of the given potential equation.